Hey, what's going on guys? Root of the Null here, and today we are looking at some more Python. We've been going on a roll with this little function mini-series, and uh, yeah, we're continuing with that today. We've got uh, function parameters today. So I'm going to open up idle, and let's get started. I'm going to drag this right over here so you guys can see it. Create a new window with control N, and we will type out our program. I'm going to get started with my shebang line as always. I'm going to save this as file.python as always, and we will write code as always. Let's run a function. I'm going to keep this sort of like skeleton um, program going on here, because I feel like it works really well. So, actually. So I'm just going to quickly rewrite everything that we've been working on in the past videos or so, and it would not take me long. I hope in the meantime you guys have been working on some pretty cool uh, some pretty cool programs in your own time. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> what should we say? New line. And then we will print out user input. Wait, no. It was uh let's say and then tab and then we concatenate that. Alright. Check it out. Let's run this program. Let's run a function. What should we say? Um, burr, 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 burr. And let's say burr, 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 burr. Okay, cool. That works perfectly fine. So now we're going to be looking at these function parameters inside these little parentheses here. This is what we would. This is where we would declare where we're going to be using parameters or arguments. So I'm going to use this um, as let's say name and. Um, name can be what we're going who is going to say it get info and let's say um dylan so now we can do what what would and we can concatenate the name say so name is becoming what we're passing in. And we send in Dylan when we're calling get info. Dylan replaces name in this in this case. So user input equals raw input becomes what would Dylan say? And then print becomes uh, name plus equals says. There you go. So now that name is replacing it, we can call this a couple of times. So let's let's run it. What would Dylan say? Um, I have no taco. Dylan says I have no taco. Let's try it again. Let's use uh Doug because he's my favorite man, as you guys know so much. Let's uh let's run this program. What would Dylan say? The taco is big. Dylan says the taco is big. What would Doug say? In Soviet Russia, big is the taco. I have no idea. I'm just sort of screwing around. But yeah, I hope you guys understand that idea is that when you, whatever you pass into name is what we're going to be using. Okay. So that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm going to add a, another parameter. When you have multiple parameters, you can pass in as many parameters as you want to in all actuality, but you obviously need your name for that thing. So what should we what should we call this? I think we should call this uh, number. And he is and actually and name, because we don't know if it's boy or a girl, is number. I'm going to drop this down to a new line. Is number number. So there we go. So now we have uh now we got two num we got two parameters here. This param these parameters are like they're separated by this comma and the comma represents okay, we've got one parameter, let's move to another one. You obviously don't need a comma for the last parameter cuz that's just a little bit silly, but if we tried to run this now, it would get angry at us because it takes exactly two arguments and we've only given one. We can get around this, but we're going to work with that in a later video. So let's try Dylan is number uh, 39 and Doug is number 1 cuz he's a better person than Dylan. F5, let's run a function. What would Dylan say? The taco the taco. I can't fit in the taco. 
crap. <laughs> okay. Yep. What we're doing here, we're trying to concatenate string and integer objects. And remember how we had a problem with that when we were trying to work with strings to later, or like earlier in the series? Well, what we have to do here is sort of cast, cast is the name for it, convert st the number to a string by using this str function. Let's try one more time. What would Dylan say? Um, the taco is big, but he can't fit in it. The Soviet Russia, um, I stepped on the taco. Dylan says I stepped on the taco, and Dylan is number 31. What would Doug say? Eat it anyway. Doug says eat it anyway, and Doug is number one. Okay, this this works perfectly. We've worked a little bit. We've got some concatenating going on. We've got some. Uh, we've got some escape sequences. We've got we've got variables. We've got numbers and that sort of thing. But this still leaves some room for doubt. What if we what if we had a variable name to begin with? What if we had a uh, what if we had Dylan up top, Dylan, and we pass in name. This this won't matter because we're sending in the name in the global scope. It becomes name in this scope. But if we set once we're done adding, if we set name to we can use a relative assignment operator to multiply it by three. You think that'll work? Let's try it. F nine. F five. What would Dylan say? La 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 la. Okay. That works perfectly fine, but that's curious though, because we want to get information about the name. What happened? What happened to Dylan? Did he did he multiply by three or something? What would Dylan say? For go 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 go, Dylan is still Dylan. Huh? Okay. So this goes to show that the scope still plays an effect here. Okay. Okay. The scope when we pass in name, right here. Name is equal to Dylan. Dylan comes up top. Dylan comes to get info, he goes in his name, and then when he comes out, Dylan is Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. So if we print him here, Dylan, F not, F5, what would Dylan say? Kerberger, Dylan, 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 because, okay, interesting. So we have Dylan, 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 Doug, and Doug, Doug, Doug. Because Doug is running once more because it's part of that. So what if we brought in name once more. This still should this should still keep the way that we want it to, except it's just gonna be Dylan both times. It's, it'll be a single Dylan, it won't be three times Dylan. What would Dylan say? Dylan says Gardger and Dylan is number thirty nine. Dylan. Because it's printing it out one last time and then it runs it again with still that name Dylan variable right up top. And it's not being modified by this function here because it's not in that scope. So Dylan would say and Dylan is number one now. So we've sort of manipulated Dylan and Doug to our will, and they've sort of become our minions, and we could practically have them take over the world. But, you know, we've learned a lot about Python in that process. <laughs> so, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope you've been able to understand some uh, multiple parameters, understanding scope a little bit more, understanding concatenation, understanding uh, escape sequences, and that sort of thing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you again in the next tutorial. Hey, what's up, guys? Root going on? Whoa. Whoa. I think I just screwed up my intro. I think I just screwed up my intro.